guys, it's me, Mom Teen, and in this video, I will going to teach you about quadratic equation wherein we will going to identify the value of A, B, and C. So before we can identify the value of A, B, and C in the given quadratic equation, it should be in standard form na kung saan yan yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano ba mag-transform sa standard form yung ating given quadratic equation. So guys, let's do this. So this will be our lesson for today about quadratic equation and we all know that the standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, wherein ax squared is quadratic, bx is linear, and c is constant. This is the value of a, the ax squared, the value of b is bx, and the value of c is the constant term wherein a is not equal to zero so we have example number one two x plus five x minus three is equal to zero at napakadali on how to identify that because our a is equal to this will be our a which is equal to two and then we have b so the value of b is the next term or the second term which is equal to 5 and our c is equal to the constant term which is negative 3 so dahil naka standard form na siya kaya napakadali na lang on how to identify the values of a b and c Next example is 3x times x minus 2 is equal to 10. So, as you can see guys, hindi po siya naka-standard form. Kaya, we need to transform that into standard form. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, we will going to distribute 3x. So, 3x distribute times x. So, 3x times x is equal to 3 x squared next one distribute 3x to negative 2 positive times negative is equal to negative so 3x times 2 3 times 2 is 6 and the variable is x baka kasi mamaya marami pa dyan ang naguguluhan on how to multiply the algebraic expression. So, we're done distributing 3x. And then, let's proceed to is equal to 10. Okay. So, kailangan guys ay naka-equal siya sa 0. Kaya, we need to transfer 10 to the left. So, copy everything. We have 3x. We have 3x. And then, minus 6x. Once na dumaan sa equal sign ang any number or any value, mag-change ang sign yan. So, this will become minus 10 and then is equal to 0. Okay, so there you go. We have now the standard form of quadratic equation. Our standard form is 3x. This is squared, sorry. So, 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, dahil naka-standard form na siya, ibig sabihin, we can now identify the value of a, b, and of course, the value of C. So, the value of A is equal to 3. Okay, so the value of A is 3. And next is that the value of B. The value of B is negative 6. So, we have negative 6. And then, the value of C is equal to negative negative 10 so there you go we have now the value of a b and c in the given quadratic equation last example guys we have 
2x plus 5 times x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. As you can see, we need to use the FOIL method. So, I know na marami na sa inyo ang nakakaalam on how to um, do the FOIL method. So, when we're talking about FOIL, this is first, okay, first term, first term. So, you need to multiply 2x times x. So, 2x times x, that is equal to 2x squared. Next is that we have O or outer, yung pinakalabas na term. So, we have 2x and negative 1. So, 2x times negative 1, that is equal to negative 2x. Next is inner or yung pinakaloob. Yan. So, ito yung pinakaloob class. So, 5 times x, that is plus 5x. So, next is last or last term. So, the last term is 5 times negative 1. So, last term, last term. 5 times negative 1 is equal to what? Is equal to negative is equal to negative 5. So, there you go. Pero hindi pa yan yung ating standard form because we need to combine. We need to combine like terms. But before that, this is equal to, equal to negative 6. There you go. Pasensya na kayo guys. Nakalimutan ko yung aking whiteboard marker sa isla. Nandito kasi ako is ngayon sa bayan. Oo, ano lang yun guys, patalastas. Okay, so now we will going to combine like terms. So this is 2x squared. Kapag sinabi nating like terms, pareho ng variable at pareho ng exponent. So si 2x squared ba ay may kapareho dyan? So wala. So what about 2x? May like term ba si 2x? So pareho silang dalawa ng variable at the same time. Pareho sila ng exponent na 1. So, laging tatandaan in comes to algebra, 1 is invisible. Okay, so, like term si 2x at si 5x. So, we will going to add. So, in adding the integers, this is negative, this is positive. So, dahil unlike sign sila, proceed to subtraction and copy the sign of the bigger number. So, 5 minus 2, that is equal to... That is equal to 3. And then, yung malaking number is 5. Kaya, magiging plus dito. And of course, copy the common variable, which is x. And then, minus 5, which is the constant term, is equal to negative, is equal to negative 6. Okay, so next is that, hindi pa siya nag-equal sa 0. Kaya, hindi pa tayo tapos. So, we have... 2x squared and then plus 3x minus 5 and then ilagay natin dito or i-transfer natin si negative 6 dito sa left. Kaya mag-change ang kanyang sign magiging plus 6. Pasensya na kayo guys. This is my first time na mag-tutor tapos wala pa yung aking whiteboard marker. So plus 6 and then equate to... 0. Pasensya na talaga. So, equate to 0. That is 0, guys. Ayan. So, equate to 0. So, we are not yet done. Kasi nga, we, meron pa tayong kailangang i-combine. So, we have 2x squared and then plus 3x. Ayan. So, plus 3x and then we have Negative 5 plus 6, unlike sign sila, kaya proceed to subtraction. 6 minus 5 is 1, and the sign of the bigger number is positive, kaya magiging plus, ano ba yan guys? Kaya magiging, okay, kaya magiging plus 1 is equal to 0, is equal to 0. Dahil naka-standard form na siya, kaya we can now identify the value of a, b, and c. This is now the standard form of the given quadratic equation. So,
So now let's identify the value of A, B, and C. So in this given standard form, the value of A is positive 2. So A is positive 2. The value of B is positive 3. And the value of C is positive 1. So there you go. Nandiyan na yung value ni A, B, and C. So I hope guys na naintindihan ninyo kung paano mag uh, mag-transform ng given quadratic equation to standard form at hopefully uh, madali na lang sa inyo on how to identify the value of A, B, and C. See you on the next video. Thank you.